our video. Meet Pumpkin. So, um, yeah, we've had a bit of a switch up. So, Bumble is now named Pumpkin as it is spooky season. And I love spooky season. And look at him, he just looks like a pumpkin. He's the same colour. So today I'm going to do another hammy school video. Um, basically on common health problems you can get in hamsters. Um, I've wrote my notes, so let's get straight into it. So first things first, we're going to go into heart slash blood vessel disorders. So our first one is atrial thrombosis. I may be using a lot of technical wording in this, but I will simplify it for you. What are you doing? Hi, baby. He's um, only been here two days and he's already eaten off my hand and climbed on it and kissed me. <laughs> the atrial thrombosis occurs in up to 70% of elderly hamsters. This is blood clots forming in the upper chambers of the heart, which is the atrium. At the top you have the atrium and at the bottom you have the ventricles. Uh, this makes the heart muscle weaken so it can't pump blood as well. The signs are rapid breathing, uh, a regular heartbeat and a blue tint to the skin or gums. There is no effective treatment but a vet may find something to help your hamster manage. If left untreated, hamsters can die within a week after symptoms begin. So always keep an eye out for anything irregular and if something is irregular, get to an exotic vet. So into digestive disorders. So the first one, everybody will know hopefully, is wet tail. So this is the most serious intestinal disease slash bacterial intestinal <laughs> Try again, slash interior, take three, slash bacterial infection. It normally affects hamsters of weaning age, so small little babies. Uh, it's very difficult to treat and can be fatal within 48 hours. So this involves very watery diarrhea that leads to matted, unkept fur around the tail and loss of appetite and dehydration. So um, I've got the health check sheet on my Instagram. Um, it's more towards Syrian health check, but um, there's pictures on there. I'll probably, probably put pictures here, but always be on the lookout and always do health checks if you can with um, difficult hamsters like little Reginald over there. Um, try and get them to go into a glass bowl because Reggie will walk into anything and um, just look underneath. Next one is tapeworms. So this is a zoonotic disorder which means it can be spread to humans and from humans it can spread back to animals, vice versa. So this is more common in hamsters than it is in mice and rats. They normally no <laughs> I'm so tired. They normally show no signs, but in serious cases, tapeworms can cause inflammation and blockage of the intestines and infection of the lymph nodes. A vet can diagnose your hamster um, and you'll need to completely clean out the enclosure, take everything out. Hi babe. Um Um, take all the bedding out and everything, clean everything down properly. If it's wood, bake it. Um, and like I said, this is a zoonotic disease, so always wash your hands before and after handling your hamster, even if they're not ill, because you could be carrying something that could be spread to them. Eyes and ears. Let me know that this is not an exhaustive list. Um, this is just some things that I've found. So, conjunctive itis. This is inflammation of the eye. It can result from injury, bacterial infection or irritation from dust. Um, warm water can be used to gently remove crusts from around the eyes. I would recommend using a Q-tip 
and don't force it off, just let it fall off onto the Q-tip. The vet may flush the eye with saline and prescribe an antibiotic ointment. So, how to avoid this? So, um, injury, make sure your enclosure is still cluttered but safe, it's got no sharp things in there. Um, bacterial infection, like I said, wash your hands before and after handling. And irritation from dust. Do your research on substrates and don't get dusty substrates because it can also cause respiratory problems, which we're going to get into. Skin disorders. So hamsters, like us, can also get alopecia. Um, it can have many causes in hamsters, like constant rubbing on the cage, not enough protein in the diet, T-cell lymphoma, mite infestation, tumours and problems with kidneys. If you do notice that your hamster is balding, please go to an exotic vet, but the bald patches on each side of the rump are Sink lungs, I need pumpkin. And if pumpkin would kindly demonstrate, you'll be able to see that, thank you babe, you'll be able to see that his are very prominent. Move your bedding out of the way and show us. Show us, oh yeah, my, oh you are amazing. Thank you babe, you're showing us both sides. Yeah, so I'll try and zoom in on that and show you. And um, bigger scent glands are more prominent in males as they do a lot more scent marking and dwarfs i have heard i'm not sure because i don't own one but i've heard their scent glands is on their stomach what are you doing god you say you're eating some space i'm getting distracted utis so a uti is inflammation of the kidneys i'm sure everybody here mainly women have had a uti before and it is not nice I used to suffer really bad with them. Um, this worsens over time and is more common in older and female hamsters. Hamsters with this condition lose weight, produce more urine than normal and are usually unusually thirsty. The condition may be caused by viral infection, high blood pressure in the kidneys or a disorder of the immune system. So. If you've been keeping up with me for a while, you know that Reggie had a UTI. I'll post a picture here. Um, basically the story is, he wasn't being himself. I gave him a stroke and he was just sat there and I'm like, hmm, I might try and pick you up. So I just scooped him up and I was stroking him. And I was like, you're not Reggie, give me my hamster back. Reggie would flip. And that's when I thought there is something wrong. So I didn't scuff him because he was being so tame. I just flipped him, had a look. His um, urethra, I think you call it, was um, crusted, which is a big no. And then at further inspection, the week after, no, the day after, what am I on about? Um, I looked again and his feet were very red and inflamed and this apparently was down to the UTI, it was connected, but he's all, he's all good and well now. So yeah, take your hamster to the vet if you suspect there is a UTI and they will prescribe you antibiotics. Okay, the worst things you can find in hamsters, cancers and tumours. So most lumps may be uncancerous, but it's safer to go and see a vet. Lymphoma may occur in older hamsters with tumours in the lymph nodes, thymus, spleen, liver and other sites. A type of T-cell lymphoma affects the skin in hamsters, causing low energy, weight loss, patchy hair loss and skin inflammation. So when you're doing these health checks or if you've got a fussy hamster like Reggie, even when you're just stroking and giving them a little... Yeah, that's the best way to describe it on the bum. Uh, feel around for any unusual lumps. I don't know what this is doing, go away. Yeah, feel around for any suspicious lumps. 
and if there is any, it's better to go to the vet, the vets, <laughs> because you'd much rather be safe than sorry. It could be nothing, but it could also be something, unfortunately. But if you find it quick enough, it may be treatable. The vets will normally cut them out as well. So, respiratory infections. <laughs> These can occur in hamsters if the wrong things are being used in the cage. Example, bedding too dusty, sand too dusty, smoking near your hamsters, and smelly stuff like incense, candles, air fresheners, and other strong smells in the room. This can be identified by irregular breathing, louder breathing, wheezing, so take your hamster to the vets immediately. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's any treatment really for respiratory problems. Um, I think the vet just gives them some like meds to help them, not to cure them, but to help them manage it, that's the word, and um, hopefully it gets better on its own. Overgrown teeth. So you'll be able to tell when your hamster's teeth are overgrown obviously because it will just look stupid <laughs> uh, to prevent this add more chew toys to your hamster's enclosure and if they're still not chewing you will have to take them to the vets for teeth trimming do not do it yourself if you watch the tiktok reactions i post and saw somebody clipping that hamster's teeth with nail clippers don't do that go to the vet please <laughs> and also hamster's teeth should be yellow slash orange. They get darker the older they get. Uh, white teeth are a sign of underlying health problems. So if you find that your hamster has light white teeth, uh, take them to the vet. And um, also um, on the, I'll put a picture here as well, but yeah. I think that's just one again, if you heard that. Um, yeah, of abnormal hamster teeth so this one's an interesting one uh, another zoonotic disease well infection is the common cold and that can be passed from humans yes hamsters can get the common cold they can also get covid as well so hamsters can catch our common cold so if you have a cold try and stay away from your hamsters until you're feeling better I know it's hard, I know, invest in cameras. Obviously feed them and change their water, but wash your hands before and after, even if you're not ill. And I've put, yeah, the COVID is also transmissible to hamsters. Your hamster may sneeze, sniffle, and have a runny nose. They'll normally recover in a couple of days. If not, take them to the vet. And that seems to be all I've got for hamster illnesses, disorders, etc. Um, I can do another deep dive and give you some more if you're interested. And I can also offer extra explanations, deeper ones. Um, once again, this is helping me with my course, all the different diseases stop distracting me um so yeah <laughs> so this was short and sweet i think maybe it was maybe it wasn't but if you did enjoy this video leave a big thumbs up don't forget to check out my hamster playlist and my hammy school playlist for more educational videos and don't forget to subscribe goodbye Bye.